push in on that button again. There you go. There we go. Oh man, yeah, that makes a major difference. Can you hear me okay? Oh yeah. Okay. All right, let me know when you're ready for me to release the wheel brakes. Uh, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna store this list. All right. I usually just put it under my thigh because you're gonna need it again. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Releasing the wheel brakes. Finally getting a day to fly. Yes, sir. Albeit chilly. I've flown in colder. Yeah, I, I have too. I've flown in 23 degrees in this gyro. Oh. oh that God. was not fun. I say it wasn't fun. I, I put on, I think, seven or eight layers. Wow. And it was okay. Had body warmers all, all on me and whatnot. That's our runway of choice, looks like. Looks, looks like, like one step, uh, 35. All right, I think that's a good choice. Uh, at least the wind isn't blowing like a wind. Yeah, exactly. No, it's it's much better flying today than it was yesterday. We actually got a little bit of rain earlier when we uh, were flying. Yeah, it was raining when I left the campground. Oh, really? All righty, whenever you're ready to stop, I'll hold the wheel brakes for you. Okay. Got them. Okay, parking brake is set. Uh, oil pressure is 4.2. So, oil temp, we gotta wait on still low, it's only 45. All right, so we've got five degrees just to, wait, you can add a little bit of power if you want to, maybe up to like 2400, 2500 engine RPMs. That'll warm it up a little bit faster. for the back check. Gun light hold forward. And then RPM dozen, slowly engage pre rotor. Yep, and then you'll need to yep. you'll need to stow the checklist. <laughs> so when you're ready, go on ahead and unlatch the cyclic and hold it all the way forward. It's essential when the rotor blade's not turning that we keep the stick all the way forward. Okay. All right, and now we've got about 2,000 on the engine RPM, so gently begin squeezing the pre-rotator. And this one takes forever to engage. I need to adjust it. It's starting to 
Now just keep the power where it's at and just keep on squeezing. Is it fully squeezed now? Yeah. All right, so we're waiting for 130 on the rotor. to make the first radio call or do you want me to? Uh, what's, where's the button? Is the button up on the front here? Yep, exactly. And you can just tell them we're taking runway 35. You can just say white gyro, taking runway 35 for takeoff. Taylor. So Taylor traffic, experimental white gyro, taking runway one, or correction, runway 35 for takeoff. Taylor traffic, experimental gyro, uh, taking runway 35 for takeoff. Taylor. Good radio call. All right, so we're above 130, so bring the cyclic back. Make sure we're clear in all directions. All right, I'm going to release the wheel brakes. All right. Come all the way back with the cyclic. That'll help slow us down. Keep on coming back, and you can use the wheel brakes also if you need to to help slow you. Going pretty fast here. There you go. Now, what you'll notice is as we turn into the wind, the gyro wants to slow down. Right. So you can use the cyclic if you need to go faster to, there you go. But all we need to do is just move to the left side of the, or move further left, get the center line here. Let's get the stick all the way back. Yeah, I've definitely got to tighten these belts down. They're not quite tight enough. Let's go ahead and release the pre-rotator now. There you go. And now, just use the power, there you go, just keep the power right there. Once we hit 200, then we'll go full power on the rotor RPM. There's 200, let's go full power. Good job keeping the stick back, use those pedals, heavier right pedal, heavier right pedal, there you go. Nice takeoff. Keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep coming forward. Keep it low until we get to 65 miles per hour.
right there. Just hold this right there off the runway. Hold this off the runway. Keep the nose up. Keep that nose up. Keep that nose up. Keep on coming back. That was better. We uh, um, be very careful not to raise the nose too much too high. If uh, if we slow down too high, we're going to drop. drop. There's, yep, there's only a certain amount of energy in the rotor system. All right, stick all the way back. Let's go. We're a little bit on the slow side on the rotor, so I wouldn't go full power yet. Now there's 200 rotor RPM. Go full power. There you go. Use those pedals. Come forward with the cyclic. Okay, I helped you just a little bit there. Keep it up, 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 keep coming back, keep coming back. E even as you're slowing down, keep coming back with the cyclic. Keep coming back, keep coming back. That's going to act like a giant air brake for you. 
All right, ride with me on one, okay? Okay. I've got the controls. We have the controls. I've got the controls. We're above 200 on the, or we were above 200 on the rotor, adding just a little bit of power here. As the rotor picks up, I'll pick up power. There's 200, so I'm going full power. Notice I'm on my feet right now. I'm really on that right pedal. Then I rolled a little bit to the left as it wanted to roll right on takeoff. But I'm staying on those pedals. There's 65 miles per hour. I'm flying away. Holding this attitude right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn left crosswind. Clear left. I'm holding this attitude still. descent. We're down, but I'm not done flying it. I'm still keeping that nose up, still keeping the nose up, and I came back as much as I could just to balance it once we were on the ground. Still using those pedals to point me straight once I'm on the ground. All right, your aircraft? My aircraft. You got it. Try to keep that stick in its position. Use the pedals. Full power now, we're above. We're going way on the right side of the runway. There you go. All right, all right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. All right, so we started to go to the right side of the runway, and what we did was we just pulled the stick the opposite way. Use those pedals. If you're going right, let off on your right pedal. If you're going left, press harder on the right pedal. I want to just stay right here in the middle of this center line. Let's go. Your aircraft? All right. Alright, there you go. Ah. Keep that power in. Have your right pedal, have your right pedal. There you go. There you go, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, 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 forward with this. There you go. Forward, 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 forward. There you go. There's 65. Now we fly away. Don't raise the nose too much or we'll get too slow. Look at that. Look at that yaw screen. Keep the right pedal in. There you go. Use those pedals just to keep you straight. That was a much better takeoff. 
related to the wind, the relative wind. Right. So your wind is not directly in front of you. The wind is slightly off to the side. All right. Now we have too much right pedal in. You can see that trip string. There you go. down to the right altitude, you got it there, and then we just pulled back real hard on the cyclic and ballooned up. Right. If you've noticed that happening, you have to let go of the, the cyclic, let it come back forward, and then uh, then apply the back pressure again. Uh, otherwise, we're going to run out of energy and land right into, right into the runway. All right, so our, no, notice our rotor slowed down a little bit. Yeah. So we're uh, adding just a little bit of power to get the rotor spun up. You can add a little bit more if you would like. There's 200, so now we can go. Get on that right pedal. There you go. Then let off the right pedal. Let off the All right. And we need to go full power with it also. Right. 
hold this right there. Keep that nose up, keep that nose up, keep that nose up. You're still flying it once it sets down. Don't don't go into shock right there. All right, so keep coming back with your cyclic. All right, let's go. Full power, we're above 200. Use those pedals to keep you straight. Have your right pedal, there you go, there you go. Raise it, raise it. Use those pedals. Okay. Got to use those pedals to keep it pointed straight. All right, come all the way back with the cyclic. Load the rotors. Let's go again. Go full power. There you go. Come forward with the cyclic and right pedal, right pedal. think we hit down harder like that? Uh, we let our airspeed slow down too much yeah. as we were coming in. Yeah. All right, so let's go again. Yeah, 
that attitude right there. Just hold that attitude. Keep holding that attitude. Use those pedals to keep you pointed straight. All right, keep going back with the cycle. Keep going back. Final three, five, touching down, Taylor. Hi, Romeo Delta, rolling to three, five, Taylor.
you want to keep 65 drop it, that's even more. There you go, right there. Uh, left cross wind, 65 Keep it down, burn that idle. Start rounding, there you go, that's good. A little lower, 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 lower. Down to some more. There you go. And raise the nose. There you go, keep that nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep balancing, come on back, come on back, come on back. Come on back, come on back. The slower you go, the, the, it's not going to balloon up on you if you come back with the cyclic. So the slower you go, keep that nose up. All right, let's go.
Vertical. The slower we get, the more we need to raise the nose on those landings. That's going to slow, that's really going to slow you down and set you down soft. We don't just let the thing just drop out of the Keep that nose up, 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 up. There you go. Raise it up. Keep 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 it up. Up. There you go. Right there. All right. Want to go again? Do one more. Let's go. All right. All right.
goes. Keep that nose up. Keep the nose up. Keep the nose up. Excellent. I've got the controls. We have the controls. I've got the controls. Notice how heavy that right pedal is right now. Yeah. And they want to take off. I'm keeping us low to the runway. There's 65. Now we can fly away. Now I go stick forward, trim it forward, and if you'll put the latch on it for me. traffic, Sears 4 and 7 Kilo hotels up wind from 3-5. Uh, we'll be de I'll be departing the pattern to the uh, north line out of the Lake Ranger. All right. Taylor traffic. And Taylor traffic, 5 Romeo Delta, clearing 1735 at Bravo, Taylor. All right, you ready to take the controls back? Sure. You've got the controls. Yeah, sorry about that last that last one. I just wanted to get off the runway quick enough, get you the landing, and still not have to extend way far out. Yeah. Mike, that last one. Uh, did you? Yeah. Taylor traffic, Mooney <laughs> 158, short final, 3-5, Taylor. I fly the simulator a lot of times. You do what? I fly the simulator that way all the time. But, oh, yeah. But there you got lots to do over. Yeah, well, one, one thing to know is that the sim is very different than, than reality, typically. Exactly. Uh, um, so there's there's things that happen in the real world that you won't to, you can't think of in the sim. No. Yeah. Plus, yeah. you don't have the same feel. Exactly. You really yeah. don't. Just, you have to imagine the feet. Exactly. Okay, I've got the wheel brakes. Why don't you turn on the rotor brake for us? That will get the stick to the left into the wind as much as possible. That'll help slow it down. And it'll also take away the blade flapping. You've got the controls. We shouldn't need any extra power. It should idle just fine. Five eight left end wind three five touch and go Taylor. All right, here's fine with me from right to left.
Yeah, see where it wants to sit is right there. Yeah, it's because it's, well. What, what you have oh, to do is it. you have to pull it harder and then it'll go above it to right there. Ah. So we're just not pulling the brakes hard enough, but if you don't hold them right, you can bend it. These brakes are just really tight. That's the reason why I'm holding the holding it off for gotcha. you. Gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So what are your thoughts? Um, better, but I'm still need a lot of work on my dish. Yeah, uh, I would I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, on both both accounts. So. Cool. Wow. The thing that um, I've always been told to is don't look by the plane, look at the end. Yeah. But, but if, until I get to the form in like almost the final flare. Right. If I don't, I don't, I'm, don't exactly. know, I'm staying too high. And that's one of the things, the gyro's a, just a different, uh, it's, it's different. Uh, I, you're correct, you don't want to stare at the, right next to the plane, typically in an airplane. That does approach, but the gyro's a little bit different. Right. Um, the, I, you almost need some sort of a frame of reference to see how high you are off the... That's what I'm thinking, but see, you know, even in his latest talking to Matt, he said, I find that most people don't look down the runway, you know? Yeah. And I'm saying, that's fine. And then I say, that's people like Dave, who's got a Benson, and yeah. a KBA, or a Tim Brock. Yeah. And he said, if I look too close to the plane, he said, I botch it every time. Yeah. 